Loads now, if you want to sum up the sorry state of this country, then a video of hundreds of kids running amok in a shopping centre surely sums it up. The children clashed with security staff in Milton Keynes yesterday. Police issued a dispersal order after the incident, which involved around 300 youngsters. Well, I'm joined now by Norman Brennan, who's a former London police officer and, of course, is the director of the Law and Order Foundation. Welcome to the show, Norman. Always a pleasure. Hope you're having a very happy Easter. The country is broken. This video yesterday sums it up. Absolutely. Um, there's not a day that goes by, Martin, that I don't see somewhere on social media or in the media, or I'm told, of a group of feral youths running amok in our streets, in supermarkets, on buses, on trains. Some of them are armed. Uh, it's not normally at this high a number, but I'm afraid that... Uh, and it's a shameful thing to say, we have got a lost generation, uh, as well as these 300. I mean, there is school uniforms, some of them. We have 4,000 gangs in Britain, Martin, um, 4,200 in London. They number upwards of a couple of dozen. We have county lines. The majority of these young boys and youths are armed, out of control, and it appears that there's no parameters. They can do and behave and be how they want and wish, and nobody can get in their way. And if they do, there will be severe consequences. When did we allow our children to be so indisciplined and as so far out of control as they are today? And you're absolutely right. The finger needs to be pointed at their parents. What about policing, Norman? Back in your day, no doubt, there'd have been short shrift with these jobos. You'd have been in there and you'd have been nicking them. But yesterday, they seemed to stand by and watch. Again, I'm ashamed to say I've been in policing and law and order for 45 years. It wasn't perfect in my day. I've got to tell you, we didn't take any of this nonsense. We truly didn't. We were there in our numbers. The police have lost the streets. There aren't enough of them. They go from one call to the next. They're pulled from pillar to post one demonstration to the next. They can't even police their own areas. And when they do, it's fire brigade policing, one emergency to the next to the next, and they don't get time to investigate crime. The victims are sick and tired because they feel failed. The public feel uh, let down because they don't feel, feel safe. What does it say about our criminal justice system when the streets are lost, the police are broken, the criminal justice system, magistrates and judges and juvenile courts are more social workers than arbiters of right and wrong and punishment and deterrent. And we have parents failing to play their part. We have a lost generation where too many children see no consequences for their appalling bad behaviour. Yeah, Norman Brennan, once again, echoing what a lot of people are saying out there, speaking pure common sense. Norman, of course, a former London police officer and the current director of the Law and Order Foundation. Thanks for joining us on the show.